Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MariaDB on Windows 2012 server. We'll download MariaDB, we'll install, and then we'll use MySQL and HiDSQL clients to connect to MariaDB. Finally, we'll create a Tech Brothers database to test if everything is working fine. Let's open our node. That's where we would like to perform the installation. First of all, I would like to check the Windows edition installed on this machine and you can see that uh, we have windows server 2012 r2 data center okay great next part uh, we would like to download uh, the mariadb i'm gonna go ahead and open the internet uh, and uh, download directly in your case uh, you can uh, download uh, any other server and uh, then move the file here if you like uh, mariadb and we see that we have downloads MariaDB and uh, that's the link uh, downloads.mariadb.org open the link and uh, we have uh, this latest version version right here MariaDB 10.2 series um, I'm going to download the 10.2.11 stable version getting the list and right here we have a MSI package that we can use for installation on Windows 86 or 64 and our operating system and our Windows if we go to system we can see right here a 64 bit operating system and the processor is x64 based processor as well so we are good we can download this MSI package it shouldn't take us a long and uh, let's see it is asking us okay where you would like to save I'm gonna go ahead and save on the desktop for now save it's really fast uh, um, when you are downloading uh, uh, MariaDB um, and also installation is not that bad I have um, in the previous video when I was, I was working on Windows 10 uh, it took me maybe 10 seconds to download uh, uh, here I'm connected to uh, um, a different node uh, and uh, that's one of the reason I'm also using a remote to connect to this machine uh, that's why it's taken us a little time but anyways uh, it's almost done so let's uh, close this one could have a download before couple more seconds almost there okay uh, that's uh, the software ready we right click here and say install now we will go ahead and uh, click run the installation wizard is uh, uh, right here so it started so we click next uh, we accept the agreement uh, and uh, we click next uh, now you have different options to select to, uh, select to install you have database engine if you want to only install the database engine on this machine and uh, maybe sometime it's a good reason you just want to have the database engine on this machine and uh, client uh, programs uh, on different uh, machines uh, and uh, uh, to connect to this database um, otherwise uh, it's okay for us I mean it's not gonna hurt uh, uh, us uh, if we will even uh, go ahead and install the client program sometime you would want to log in to the machine and uh, uh, connect to the MariaDB so it's, it's a good to have client program you have a backup utility okay go ahead and install it we will use it later uh, to create the backups um, and then uh, there is a third party tool Heidi uh, SQL uh, that you can use to connect to the MariaDB and run your queries like a, like a visual uh, interface uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep all of them otherwise uh, if you don't want to have them right click uh, there sorry uh, click on this arrow and uh, you can remove from here now click next and provide the password for root I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password you can uh, uh, click these options enable access from remote machine for a root user if you would like to do and uh, use uh, UTF-8 as default servers the character set uh, okay so you, you can go ahead and read about the character set and uh, select I'm gonna keep this one simple and straight so we'll uh, go ahead and click next the service name for MariaDB is called uh, MySQL and uh, the port it uses is uh, 3306 so you can change the port if you like uh, rest of the things I'm gonna keep that uh, as it is now enable the feedback uh, plugin and the submit uh, um, information we don't want to do it 
just leave the uh, unchecked click next and hit install uh, and uh, we hit uh, yes it should be pretty fast i'm hoping like it will be done uh, in less than a minute uh, the same way the download uh, took like a minute uh, it should be also done uh, uh, around uh, in a minute so you can see that uh, it, it took a very short time hit finish hide this equal is right here that's the third party software that we can use uh, to connect to the uh, MariaDB first of all let's go ahead and check the services so you see how exactly uh, the service look like so I'm gonna go ahead and open services and uh, click on uh, here press M and uh, you see right here MySQL service uh, is uh, running uh, but if you see the description uh, you see that it is a MariaDB data based server service uh, okay now we would like to connect uh, to this uh, MySQL uh, service uh, that's a MariaDB data ser database server so I'm gonna go ahead and search for MySQL client uh, so you see that I have MySQL client as a part of installation it asks us uh, Hey, do you would like to install uh, the client and we said yes so, so provide the password uh, for the root and now we are connected uh, so we can say show databases and it will show us uh, the databases uh, now where these uh, databases are saved uh, so if we click uh, on the folder and see and uh, we go to the program files uh, and that's where it create a folder called mariadb10.2 uh, and uh, here we have a data folder that's where uh, the, all the databases are going to be saved now if I will go ahead and create the database here so let me first create database tech brothers and uh, you can see that right here the database tech brother is uh, created now same way we can connect uh, to the MySQL service uh, that's MariaDB database uh, server by using hide SQL let's close uh, these programs okay the double click uh, hide SQL click on new session for root folder and uh, okay that's our host name or local host and uh, we are using root uh, um, uh, user and password let me provide that and uh, we can hit open now you can see that all the databases are here information schema mysql performance schema tech brothers so from here you we don't have any table or anything right here but you can later create tables whatever you would like to uh, do i will make a, a complete video of how to create the tables what type of data types are available in mysql uh, mariadb or mysql and uh, we will go from there um, that's uh, pretty much it uh, for uh, here I have uh, made another video on uh, how to change the data directory for, for MariaDB uh, from a default location to different location because right here everything is installed uh, on C program files uh, and uh, in actual server you will not have only C you will have uh, uh, data disks uh, separate uh, from your operating system disks uh, so you would like to have uh, okay here C we use uh, for local disk uh, but we would like to use uh, a separate disk for data and you would like to move uh, all the databases uh, uh, the existing ones uh, and newly created ones uh, to that one so you can watch that video how to change the data directory in mariadb thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, this video is helpful subscribe and like and i will see you guys in next video